Welcome to Grandma Cherry Lips Library for little clever children. Would you like to hear a story? Let me tell you one. The Giant Cockroach Part 1 A company of animals and very merry friends we were traveling together until our journey's ends. We were going very far. Lions riding in a car, on a cycle bears, two wolf cubs on a mare, and many more of us were traveling by bus. We did a lot of packing and packed a lot of treats. And as we rode, was snacking on healthy, tasty sweets. You can see in the pictures how they are all traveling. And lions, you see, are traveling in a car. And two wolf, wolf cubs on a mare. And bears on a cycle, you see. And you also see how they are snacking. They are all eating something very tasty. Part 2 Suddenly, a tiny mite, flying with his brothers and sisters at the head of our column on a red air balloon to make sure that the way was clear, saw on the road a giant, huge, enormous, monstrous cockroach. He was menacingly moving his antenna and the mite distinctly heard him roar. Stop! Don't move! A stepfather and I swallow you all whole! When other animals were told about this, they shook in fear and fainted. Yes, you can see what happened to all those animals on the picture, right? Wolves bit their own tails. The crocodile opened his mouth in terror and the frog thinking it was a safe hiding place, jumped there and was swallowed indeed. The knees of the mama elephant buckled under her and she sat on the porcupine, which was very painful for both of them. You can see how frightened all the animals are becoming, how they run away from the terrible cockroach, right? You can see this on the pictures. The hippopotamus, who was the leader of the animals, said, the one who is not afraid of the evil monster and is ready to fight him will be honored and celebrated as a hero. Some lions and wolves Elephants and bears discussed this, but then remembered how enormous the cockroach was, how menacingly he moved his antenna, and how loudly he roared. They shook in fear again and hid wherever each of them could. The hippopotamus cried, shame on you, animals, you have sharp horns, teeth and claws, go and fight the cockroach. But from their hiding places, animals answered, we really would like to fight him, but we must think about our own safety first. And still shaking in fear, 
remained in hiding. Crocodiles dug themselves into poison ivy and elephants hid in a trench. Only the chattering of teeth could be heard and only the shivering of fear seen. As to monkeys, they picked up their suitcases and simply ran away. And the great white shark waved its tail and disappeared in the deep ocean. Part 3 In this way the cockroach became the ruler of animals. They submitted to him. They were even afraid to look at him when he walked among them, moving his antenna and scratching his belly. He would say, for example, Animals, bring me your children. I want to eat them for supper. And poor frightened animals would wail and moan and groan. In every cave, in every den, they would curse the evil, insatiable monster, which mother could calmly agree to give away her dear child, her bear cub, her wolfling, her baby elephant so that some hungry cockroach would have the little one for supper. And animals would cry bitterly when they wished their children good night. One morning, a kangaroo came from Australia and saw the cockroach. She laughed. Ha, 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 is this a giant? This is just a regular cockroach. A small insect with skinny legs, that's all. Aren't you ashamed, she said to the animals. Don't you feel stupid? You have teeth and even fangs, and you submitted to a small insect and let him rule over you. But from the hiding place of the hippopotamus came a whispered message. Don't say such things and go away. You could make the matters worse. You see, you see the kangaroo, she looks at the cockroach and she sees it is not even very large at all. But the animals who are afraid to look at the cockroach because they're so cowardly, they don't know that he's not that very large. And so they continue to be afraid. At this very moment, at the moment when the message came from the hiding place of the hippopotamus, Sparrow flew in from faraway fields behind a small wood. He hopped on the ground, chirped gaily, chirrup, and pecked the cockroach whose antennas disappeared in the little bird's beak. The giant was gone. The company of animals became very merry again and honored and celebrated Sparrow as a hero. Donkeys sang a hymn. Goats swept the ground in front of him with their beards. You see? How donkeys are singing a hymn to the little sparrow and the goats. You see how they sweep the ground in front of him with their beards? And you see how small he is, this sparrow?
יותר. And mama elephant danced so energetically that the moon fell from its hook in the sky right on the head of her husband, Papa Elephant. The elephant couple and other animals had to climb a long ladder later to nail the moon back to its place. You see this in the picture. See how they all have to climb the ladder? Yes, to nail the moon back to its place. So everything ended very well. Goodbye.